This is News 3 Now at 5. Thanks for staying with us. In just the last 24 hours, nearly two dozen more Dane County Jail inmates have tested positive for COVID-19. That is on top of a surge we first told you about yesterday when we learned that 16 inmates had the virus. Our Madeline O'Neill just caught up with Sheriff Dave Mahoney and she joins us live from the jail tonight. Maddie? Well, going from one case to 38 cases in the jail in such a short time span, the sheriff here tells me that illustrates just how quickly COVID can spread, especially among those who don't have symptoms. Now, just yesterday, we learned that at the end of last week, there was one positive COVID-19 case in the jail. Yesterday, the sheriff told us in an exclusive interview that 16 inmates had tested positive after incoming inmates brought the virus into the initial housing unit where they quarantine for 14 days before going to other parts of the jail. Now today, the sheriff's office says a short time later, a number of inmates in another quarantine housing unit started showing symptoms. That entire unit was tested, resulting in an additional 22 positive cases, which Sheriff Mahoney says he learned about at about eight last night. He says it's possible more positive results will be coming. The positives are in a housing unit with other people and uh... Even though we're trying to maintain the social distancing among all of them and, and uh, enforcing the mask uh, wearing, um, there, there's no guarantee that, that that itself will stop the spread. Mahoney says of the 38 cases, just two are in the jail's general population. The other 36 are from new arrests, which he says the jail just can't control. Now, Mahoney tells me that of those who have tested positive, most have no symptoms or just mild symptoms. They're being monitored, and he says they're working with the criminal justice system to send people home to recover if need be. All right, Maddie, thank you. And health officials are reporting a spike in cases in Dane County, up 163% in just the last month. The 14-day average, 439 cases a day. That's up from 374 just last week. And a month ago, the 14-day average was 167. 179 people are currently hospitalized in the county. Our community has experienced almost as many individuals being diagnosed with COVID as all the diagnoses combined for the first eight months of this pandemic. That's 10,828 neighbors, family, and friends diagnosed with COVID in the past month. This is equivalent to the population of the village of Oregon. And officials are reminding people in Dane County and across the state they should not meet up with anyone outside of their own households. Another 71 people died from the coronavirus in Wisconsin in the last day. We're inching closer to 3,000 deaths across the state. Health officials reported 5,781 new cases of the virus today, one day after Wisconsin experienced a record-breaking amount of new cases. Right now, there are more than 75,000 active cases across the state of Wisconsin. With the exception of Green County, DHS officials say every county in our state has a quote critically high activity level for disease spread. The virus continues to put a strain on hospitals. Right now only 11% of the state's 11,276 hospital beds are available for new patients. Wisconsin's unemployment rate rose to 5.7% in October from 5.4% the previous month. That's better than the national average which is almost 7% but Wisconsin lost 2,700 private sector jobs in October and is down about 177,000 jobs for the year. More than 63,000 people are still waiting to hear something, anything, about their unemployment insurance claim in Wisconsin. Now they're stuck in a backlog. The Department of Workforce Development has been trying to clear since the pandemic started. Amy Reed spoke to one of those people who joined that group in July, and she's with us now with that woman's story. Amy? The woman I spoke with, Terry, admits she's in a better situation than most. She could lean on her spouse when she lost her job in July, but that doesn't really change the frustration she has four months later. They can't tell me anything. They can't pass me on to adjudication. They just tell me 
Sorry, you just have to wait. That's what Terry Collagen hears every week when she tries to call the unemployment insurance office. After losing her job in July, she filed for unemployment, and Terry worries the way she filled out the paperwork landed her in limbo. I've called a couple times, and nobody can tell me anything. You can't talk to adjudication. You can't. You can't get to them at all. You there's the front line. All they can tell you is that's where it's sitting. Her story is like a lot of others in a lot of ways. While the DWD says 93% of claims since March have been resolved, that still leaves 542,784 claims waiting for an answer. Unlike others, Collagen said she can lean on her husband who is still working. For those that are single, don't have that support, don't have that support system. I, I can't even imagine being in their shoes. So I kind of just sit and think, it could be worse, um, but it still sucks. <laughs> the DWD said it added staff, new people, or transfers within state government. A spokesperson also told me over email the department is improving its process, like trying to improve applications so people don't make as many mistakes, and allowing adjudicators to contact employers electronically. With the backlog of claims still thousands deep, Collagen worries about people who are just joining the system now. She doesn't know the solution, but she wishes it were different. We have emergency plans for so many different things, why wasn't there some sort of like, if this happened, if there was not even a pandemic, but if there was some catastrophe that happened, what do we do? Some good news for Collagen. She does start a new job on Monday. For those still waiting, the DWD told me they're working with the governor on how to fund a full upgrade to their IT systems. That's expected to cost millions, but they said it will speed up the time it takes to start new programs. Amy Reed reporting. Amy, thank you. Many Janesville classrooms won't host students for the next two months, but you'll still find Janesville students in district gyms. The school district voted last night to keep sports active while pivoting the middle and high schools to online only until mid-January. Our Adam Duxter spoke to board leaders about that decision. Well, last night, board members here at the school district of Janesville went against the guidance of the Rock County Public Health Department going forward with the decision to hold winter sports as planned. Rock County's decision to return to phase one of its reopening plan led to that emergency board meeting. School district leaders shared that more than 450 students are currently quarantining due to coronavirus concerns leading them to push for virtual learning in the middle and high schools. But one board member whose son is on the basketball team says taking sports away from students could hurt them more than the virus ever could. Personally, I feel that the risk of what we could be putting our students through mentally and socially, if we pull one more thing away from them, sports that they love, is greater than the risk of them getting COVID. The district's decision to play sports does not include other clubs or activities, which will be permitted to meet when they prove they've got a plan to do so safely. And today, I also made multiple attempts to reach out to district officials, but was told they had no time to talk. In the end, a district spokesperson says the district has no comment to make. In Janesville, Adam Duxter, News 3 Now. Tonight at 6, you'll hear from one of three members who voted against the decision to bring back sports. Uh, despite her love for the game and sorry about that and why her athlete son is voluntarily taking a season off. More than 900 staff members across the Midwest Mayo Clinic system have been diagnosed with COVID-19 over just the last two weeks. The Midwest Mayo system consists of clinics, hospitals and other facilities that serve patients in Wisconsin, Iowa and Minnesota. Those Midwestern states have been hit especially hard in this latest round of COVID-19 case surges. A staff member says the Mayo Clinic staff are being infected mostly due to community spread and a survey of teachers nationwide finds 28 percent say they have considered retiring early or leaving the profession due to stress and health concerns this comes when there is already a shortage of qualified teachers across the country a sunny and warmer thursday but we will see some changes this weekend a look at your first warm forecast gary is on the weather patio gary but just like last time when we were spoiled with the mild weather we're just seeing a return to average temperatures for this time of year but because it was so mild today that's going to seem like a big drop. Live view from the Edgewater Sky Cam in downtown Madison looking out to the west. It was another pretty sunset this evening. Doppler track right now free of precipitation across the state. High temperatures today were in the upper 50s to the lower to middle 60s. Madison reached 61 unofficially. Janesville hit 66. It was 67 in Boscobel.
Current temperatures are in the upper 50s to the lower 60s. These temperatures will fall off a little more rapidly later on tonight. Notice the winds have died down. Many locations seeing the air being calm. Uh, the strong winds that we had yesterday and this morning really moved out quickly this afternoon. By tomorrow morning, temperatures should drop into the upper 30s, which is still above normal for this time of year, as is tomorrow's high temperature of 50 with partly sunny skies. But temperatures will be back closer to the 40 degree mark for the weekend. I'll have more details in the forecast in a few minutes. Gary, thank you. Sun Prairie Police say the gun used in an accident shooting yesterday was stolen. Officers say a 16-year-old boy from Madison shot himself in the head early yesterday morning. This was in the parking lot of the Palace Cinema Movie Theater in Sun Prairie. Officials say the gun was stolen from a vehicle near the theater. Two other boys, a 12-year-old and a 14-year-old from also from Madison, were with that 16-year-old boy. The teen is expected to survive. Police say criminal charges, though, are pending. A Wisconsin court commissioner says the man charged with buying the rifle that police say an Illinois teen used to kill two people during Kenosha protests will stand trial. 19-year-old Dominic Black is charged in Kenosha County with two counts of intentionally providing a dangerous weapon to a minor, resulting in death. A Kenosha detective testified that Black told him how he purchased the assault-style rifle at a hardware store store in Ladysmith after getting some some money from Kyle Rittenhouse who was at 17 was too young to legally buy a gun. The clock is already ticking now for Dane and Milwaukee counties to finish their recounts. They won't actually start doing so until tomorrow morning though. News 3 Now's Naomi Coles joins us. Naomi, how long do they have to get all this done? Counties have 13 days to finish from the point that order is issued. In this case, that means by December 1st. It's up to counties to decide whether they recount by hand, machine, or a combination of that. And it's up to them to decide how public health precautions are implemented. Milwaukee expects to be done by Wednesday. Dane County's count will happen at Monona Terrace. The clerk is hoping for a similar timeline, but there's still some unknowns because they're doing it differently than four years ago. Dane County did a hand count back then, and they will not be doing that again. This time, just because of COVID, and um, timelines, I felt like using the machine uh, option in the statute made more sense for us, so, and should speed it up. But I haven't done it that way. Logically, it should be faster. Um, so yeah, it would be great to be done by Thanksgiving. We look forward to again demonstrating the strengths, security, integrity, and transparency of our election systems in Wisconsin. Between both counties doing these recounts, about 750,000 ballots are set for recount in the state's most heavily blue counties. In the recount petition, the Trump campaign is alleging claims of irregularities in these counties, and that's without evidence. The county canvas, finished earlier this week, showed no evidence of any major issues. So ahead at 6, I'll be addressing some of the voting system claims you've probably heard, the audit process that is already in place to monitor them, and the steps the commission is taking to go even further. Naomi, thank you. And there's more to come on News 3 Now at 5. Up next, uh, you can get a COVID-19 antibody test right at the grocery store. We'll explain. Coming up tonight on News 3 Now at 6, how a Sun Prairie Auto Repair Shop is giving back to health care workers during the pandemic. That's ahead next hour. And marginal gains in Thursday trading on Wall Street. The Dow adding 45. The NASDAQ with a stronger 103-point jump of the S&P up 14 at the closing bell. We'll be right back. Black Friday starts now at Ashley Home Store. Save up to 60% off doorbusters and special holiday buys available now. Plus, get our very best Black Friday bonus deals up to an extra 20% off our sale prices store-wide. Bring the holidays home early at Ashley Home Store. Bring your wish list because it's Christmas time at the Bruce Company. Maybe the weather outside is frightful, but the Bruce Company has what you need to make this season delightful. Celebrate being home for the holidays with gifts for everyone on your list, from toys to ordaments, decorations, and more. Don't forget to bring the family and explore our huge selection of artificial and fresh-cut trees. Celebrate being home for the holidays with The Bruce Company, your holiday experts. How to change the way you pizza. Step one, grab a delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Step two, bake. Step three, chow down on the deliciousness. For a limited time only, get the Hog Heaven Pizza. Papa Murphy's. In 19...
1912, Leon L. Dean sold his first batch of 100 boats, 90 of them leaked. He refunded every pair and then perfected them. Because if it wasn't comfortable, he didn't want people to have it. This holiday season, we want to help you give the warmest, coziest, longest lasting gifts on earth and make you feel more comfortable than you have in a long, long time. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we always offer genuine values on the things you need. But this year, our Black Friday bargains are coming early with incredible pre-Black Friday deals available now throughout the store. Like $25 off men's and women's Carhartt Rain Defender sweatshirts. Save $15 on assorted bags of Canada dog food. And 20-foot jumper cables are half off. Plus, buy online and pick up your items in our convenient drive-thru. You don't even need to get out of your car. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. people who fight for what's right. For us, that means fighting for you when an accident has turned your life upside down. Black Friday mattress deals start now at Ashley Home Store. Save up to 70% off mattress door busters, plus interest-free financing for up to six years on Tempur-Pedic and Beautyrest black mattresses and free quick ship delivery. Black Friday is on now at Ashley Home Store. Tonight, it takes the latest developments as positive COVID-19 cases inside the Dane County Jail more than doubled overnight. Plus, the two largest counties in the state prepare to start their recounts. A look at the last-minute preparations. UW Athletics in the Goodman Community Center needs your help providing Thanksgiving meals for 4,000 families. Please consider a food or monetary donation. We are grateful for any gift you can provide. Donate at goodmancenter.org. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. With COVID-19 concerns growing and the winter season upon us, the need for blood is still critical in parts of Wisconsin. The Red Cross is testing blood donations for COVID-19 antibodies. The test may indicate if the donor's immune system has produced antibodies to coronavirus, regardless of whether an individual developed any COVID-19 symptoms. Laura McGuire, Red Cross Communications Manager, says these donations will be helpful to identify individuals who have COVID-19 antibodies and may now help current coronavirus patients in need of plasma transfusions. With the new state orders and especially with the Dane County order in place, blood is an essential business and people are able to either go to 1-800-RED-CROSS or redcrossblood.org to make an appointment to give blood. Now, for the safety of Red Cross staff and donors, it's important that individuals who don't feel well or believe maybe they're ill with COVID-19 postpone their donation. To find out more information on how you can donate blood, check out our website at channel3000.com. Roundy Supermarkets announced today that there is rapid antibody testing at Pick and Save. The FDA authorized rapid antibody tests use a finger prick blood sample. The tests help patients learn if they have previously been infected with COVID-19, the virus uh, with the virus that causes it. The tests are available for $25 and typically provide results within 15 minutes. Research is still underway to determine how long antibodies are present following infection. Researchers at American Family Children's Hospital are participating in a new clinical trial for neuro children with neuroblastoma. So this is a three-way combination. It's the radioactive drug MIBG to give low-dose radiation, followed by the anti-neuroblastoma antibody, which attacks the neuroblastoma cells and helps the immune system destroy them. And then this third drug called checkpoint blockade, it's also known as nivolumab or pembrolizumab, it sort of takes the brakes off the immune system and lets the immune system attack it better. The trial is being conducted by the UW School of Medicine and Public Health researchers. They're looking to treat children with relapsed neuroblastoma or patients who did not find success in their initial treatment. Preclinical research in mice showed the combination of radiation therapy and Im uh, immunotherapy was curative. It is the first time in the world this process is being used on patients. All right, let's get a look at your first worn weather. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti on the patio. Gary? You know, it's actually pretty comfortable out here. 
Temperatures are mild. The wind has died down. And it looks like, well, we'll see a drop in our temperatures over the next couple of days. That'll just bring us back to normal. So three things you need to know in the forecast. Look for dry weather for tomorrow and Saturday, but it won't be as mild tomorrow. High temperatures will be around 50 and colder for Saturday with highs in the upper 30s to around 40. There is a slight chance for a shower Sunday. We keep backing off in the precipitation chances. Maybe a flurry in the morning and then uh, perhaps in the evening. But other than that, it uh, should be generally dry this weekend. The rain chances will come in on Tuesday. Right now we have rain in the forecast for Tuesday, possibly mixing with snow Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning before that comes to an end, and that will set up a nice Thanksgiving holiday. High temp or, uh, wind gusts today were strongest over northern Illinois, parts of Indiana and Michigan. We had some strong wind gusts in the Madison area, but those have really died down. You can see all the stronger wind gusts now have shifted to our south and east from Chicago into Indiana and Michigan. Weather track right now shows some mid and high level clouds coming in. This is actually with a couple of cold fronts that are just out to our north and west that will start bringing our temperatures back down closer to normal. The cold front still out to our west, so right now we're seeing the mild southerly winds. Temperatures are uh, very mild for this time of year. In fact, we're still in the 50s through much of southern Wisconsin. Milwaukee still at 61. But notice to the north and west, those temperatures drop off closer to 50 toward the Twin Cities. That's what we'll see tomorrow. And then you can see even colder weather to the north and west. That'll be here for the weekend. On future track, look for skies to be variably cloudy overnight. Tomorrow we'll see a little more sunshine. Temperatures will top out tomorrow around 50 degrees. Then as we head into tomorrow night and Saturday, notice most of the clouds staying to our south. So now we have a partly sunny forecast for Saturday with high temperatures in the upper 30s. The next weather system on Sunday, kind of in two parts, one to our north and west, the other to the south. So from this, we'll probably just see a slight chance for a rain shower on Sunday as that uh, system moves on through. So our forecast calls for a high temperature of 50 tomorrow, partly sunny skies, not quite as mild as today, but still above normal for this time of year. 7 to 10 day forecast, again, dry, generally dry for the weekend, other than a slight chance for showers Sunday. Rain on Tuesday, mixing with snow Tuesday night and ending early on Wednesday morning. Then dry weather for the Thanksgiving holiday, and it looks like the rest of the holiday weekend will be dry with seasonal temperatures. As we take a look at first warrant traffic right now, no problems on the Beltline or on the interstate in and around the Madison area. Some slowdowns on East Washington Avenue through the downtown area. Right now, 15-minute commute either way on the Beltline between University Avenue and the Interstate. Heading out of Madison, it's 25 minutes down to Janesville on I-3990, 17 minutes to Sauk City on US-12, and 17 minutes to Sun Prairie on US-151. That's your News 3 Now for sworn traffic. Gary, thank you. Ahead on News 3 Now at 5, small businesses, of course, have been struggling during the pandemic. You can help them during the holiday season. That's ahead at 5. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Shop Wild East Town Honda for clearance deals on over 400 new Hondas. Lease a new Civic for just $199. That's $199 and absolutely zero do it signing at Wild East Town Honda in Madison. Come take a stroll through the Menards Enchanted Forest this Christmas season. We have everything you need to deck the halls, create cozy charm with decorative accents and hanging decor, decorate your tree with dazzling ornaments, garlands, ribbons, and a tree topper. Find it all at Menards Enchanted Forest. Merry Christmas from all of us at Menards. Get more home for the holidays now with the Brothers Main Black Friday is Today sale. Shop online or safely in-store all month for up to 40% off brands like Frigidaire, Whirlpool, Amana, and Maytag. Black Friday priced right now. Upgrade your kitchen with a 24-inch built-in stainless steel dishwasher, just $2.88. This is your Black Friday store for more, including free delivery. The Black Friday is Today sale means more selection, more savings, and more home for the holidays from the Brothers Main. Your local store for more since 1938. It's called the greater good. At Quartz, it's what fuels our passion to better serve our members and our community. It's why we ensure easy access to the doctors, hospitals, and clinics of UW Health. It's what pushes us to invest in the name of community health and wellness programs and to find new ways to help those who need the help the most. But hey, you know all about the greater good. Quartz, health plans built with you in mind. 
My wife had a tough week at work and she needed a break. I stopped by Quick Trip and they say, I want to surprise my wife with a special dinner. And the Quick Trip lady was like, our take-home meals are freshly made and absolutely delicious. I recommend the fettuccine Alfredo with chicken and I'm like, sign me up. Upon arriving home, my wife says, wow, what's the occasion? And I'm like, just you. And she's like, looks like someone's getting dessert. Bless you, Quick Trip. Quick Trip, we got you covered. For almost 50 years, Falco's provided the Midwest with the industry's best home renewal experience. In doing so, we're improving lives one home at a time. Before the winter weather moves in, take advantage of 20% off all windows, siding, and doors and keep your family safe, warm, and comfortable all season long. Start your home improvement project with Feldco today. 20% off won't last long. Hurry. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866-4-FELDCO. Shop Wild East Town Honda for clearance deals on 400 new Hondas. Lease a new all-wheel drive CRV for $269. That's $269 and absolutely zero do it signing at Wild East Town Honda in Madison. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. As the holiday season approaches, Dane County and Madison City leaders are asking shoppers to buy local. It is the 11th anniversary of the local campaign Small Business Saturday, which highlights Dane by Local's 600 members to emphasize the importance of shopping local. Things are different due to the pandemic this year, of course, but city leaders say shopping local is more important now than ever. While we're in the midst of a pandemic that unfortunately is threatening the very survival of so many of our businesses and their employees, um, they need us. And they don't just need us, we need them. Uh, we're a community. And so we're, we're urging and encouraging and reminding everyone um, to do what you can to support our small businesses. Dane by Local has developed a marketplace which can be found on the Dane by Local website for online ordering and delivery along with holiday gift ideas. Also, Dane by Local is premiering its new gift card which can be used at a variety of local businesses. And you can also help support area restaurants during Middleton Takeout Takeover starting November 28th through December 12th. Locally owned restaurants will offer two weeks of takeout specials. Restaurants like Long Table and Hubbard Avenue Diner will offer $15 lunch options, $25 dinner options, or $50 family dinner options. To find out more about the takeout takeover, head to middletontimes.com. And stay with us for a... Of your first warn forecast. Keep your home and family warm and cozy this winter with a new degree of comfort from your local Ream contractor. Feel the Wooler's difference. Call Wooler's Heating and Air Conditioning today. Serving Dane County for over 45 years. Black Friday starts now at Ashley Home Store. Save up to 60% off doorbusters and special holiday buys available now. Plus, get our very best Black Friday bonus deals up to an extra 20% off our sale prices store wide. Bring the holidays home early at Ashley Home Store. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we always offer genuine values on the things you need. But this year, our Black Friday bargains are coming early with incredible pre-Black Friday deals available now throughout the store. Like these special buy kitchen tool or knife block sets half off. Get $50 off this Milwaukee 5 tool combo kit. And this layer and floor jack and creeper kit is half off. Plus, buy online and pick up your items in our convenient drive thru. You don't even need to get out of your car. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Culver's Chicken Sandwiches are proof that raise right tastes right. I really care about the food we eat, and that all starts here. The chicken that we serve to our kids is grown right here on our farm. It takes growers like yourself to produce these great sandwiches at Culver's. Every bite tastes like chicken is supposed to. This is chicken raised right. Our grilled chicken, our crispy chicken, and our spicy crispy chicken, they are amazing. Welcome to delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Let us help you create your family's recipe for health. SSM Health and News 3 Now are making it easy by putting all the ingredients right at your fingertips. With topics like healthy habits, nutrition, and mental well-being, there's something for everyone. Visit Channel 3000's Time for Kids page for advice from SSM Health experts. And catch fresh and informative reports on News 3 Now. Take time for kids with SSM Health and News 3 Now. 
life in that, that, or that. Having zero stress. Wasting zero energy worrying. Zero days wanting less seats, more seats, and zero regrets. Imagine that. Zero reasons not to get into a Volkswagen, especially now that you can start shopping from home. Click, call, or come by today. Visit our Volkswagen sign and drive event and lease the 2020 T1 S4 Motion today. With zero down, zero deposit, zero first month's payment, and zero to its signing. Black Friday mattress deals start now at Ashley Home Store. Save up to 70% off mattress doorbusters, plus interest-free financing for up to six years on Tempur-Pedic and Beautyrest black mattresses and free quick ship delivery. Black Friday is on now at Ashley Home Store. Is your home giving you the cold shoulder? Fight back with a new energy-saving furnace from your local Ream contractor. Feel the Wooler's difference. Call Wooler's Heating and Air Conditioning today. Serving Dane County for over 45 years. Coming up on the CBS Evening News, the CDC urging Americans not to travel for Thanksgiving, telling college kids to keep their distance as new cases surge out of control. What does it mean for your family? Plus, racing to a cure, AstraZeneca is the latest to announce strong results for its COVID vaccine, why it could help older patients. And hooked up to a ventilator and unable to speak, a COVID patient finds a new way to thank the hospital workers who saved his life. That's all tonight here on the CBS Evening News. And it looks like temperatures will turn a little colder over the next couple of days, but right now we're still pretty mild. 57 in Madison. By tomorrow morning, we're down into the upper 30s. Look for high tomorrow of 50. A little colder for the weekend. Some rain showers on Tuesday, but right now Thanksgiving should be dry and pleasant. All right, Gary, thank you. We'll be back in 30 minutes for News 3 Now at 6. CBS Evening News coming your way next. Stay tuned.